Trump's travel ban. I'm about to say a dirty word. This is Throttle Up Prepper. Trump's travel ban. And I'm about to say a dirty word. This is Throttle Up Prepper. How you doing? I'm your host, Jeff. Welcome to the program. If you're not already a subscriber, please subscribe now and hit the notification button so that you get notified every single time we put out a video. Uh, normally every Monday and Thursday, and occasionally you get some extras thrown in as well. Uh, for those of you who are already subscribed, thank you so very much. I appreciate it more than I can express. Um, also, for everybody, please make sure you stop by the website. It's throttleupprepper.com. So I'm sitting on the back patio today and I got the news alert uh, that a Virginia court overturned Trump's travel ban again. It's not the guys in Hawaii. Now we got the guys over here in Virginia. And you know what? Here's the thing. And this is where the dirty word comes in. Now I know you that know me. I'm not actually going to say a dirty word. But for some reason, the left in this country want to make it a dirty word. It's called, oh, I can't say it, profiling. Oh, <laughs> what is wrong with this? I don't get it. But we'll get to profiling in a second. But here's the thing. I wish people would stop twisting it. It's not a Muslim ban. It's not a, a ban on everybody from the Middle East. Give me a break. That's ridiculous. What it is, is Matter of fact, I think it's only seven countries that were named, and they were part of the same uh, policy that Obama had. Nobody cried about it then. I guess it's bad news now. And it's not a permanent ban, and it's not on everybody. It's just until they can get measures in place to screen people that are coming in, i.e. the refugees. Why? Because all Syrians are bad? No, not at all. Of course not. That's ridiculous. Nobody believes that. You probably don't believe it. I don't believe it. There's good people everywhere. And there's bad people everywhere. I ain't trying to look around, but I'm sure they're around here. <laughs> and I don't mean any particular race or religion or... or I'm just saying. Just, it, it, there's good and bad in everyone. My point is this. ISIS has made it very clear, and this is so hard to understand for a lot of people, that they said, nobody else, they said that they are infiltrating these refugee groups. I don't know, look at the Ariana Grande, or Grande, or however you say her name. Uh, look at that concert in Manchester the other night. Look at, uh, I, I caught a headline earlier today, uh, of a bombing in Greece, uh, attacking or attempting to attack uh, the prime minister or president, whatever they have in Greece, was the target. I don't know if they got him. I don't know. I'm just saying, the Israelis got it going on. I know I talk about the Israelis a lot because they're the only ones on this planet that seem to have any common sense when it comes to this thing. Maybe it's because of the constant threat that they're under, but they profile. It doesn't mean everybody's bad, everybody goes to jail. It just means, I don't know, if you've got 19 hijackers that, you know, what is it, 17 out of the 19 came from Saudi Arabia, maybe we need to just take a look and ask a few questions and look them in the eye and see if they start sweating. Again, this is not an Arab thing, it's not a Muslim thing, it's not a whatever thing, it's just a common sense thing and it's making me nuts. So. I don't know what the answer is. I don't know. Well, you know, all I know is the, the TSA thing of, of pulling every seventh person out of line and, and searching them. And of course, it always turns out to be the, the elderly grandma that can't walk or the little, you know, four year old sucking her thumb uh, that, that, that gets pulled out. Meanwhile, you got <laughs> all kinds of shady characters from all over the world every race, every color, every creed uh, that are just skipping on by. And uh, I don't know, I don't know what the answer is. Maybe you do, if you do drop uh, a note in the comment section, let us know. I don't know, is, am I the only one this is making nuts? I don't know how much of a prepper thing this is, but you know what, it, it kind of is, it kind of isn't. 
but I just thought I would vent a little today in light of the news. The world is crazy. It's falling apart. Maybe we should just employ a little common sense in our everyday life. Listen, it's time to prepare for whatever's coming our way. Until next time, God bless.